How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family. My father, mother, brother, sister, and me. Does your family live in a house or an apartment? We live in a house in the countryside. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. He works at the local hospital. How old is your mother? She is 40 years old, one year younger than my father. Do you have any siblings? What's his or her name? Yes, I do. I have one elder brother, David, and one younger sister, Mary. Are you the oldest among your brothers and sisters? No, I'm not. I'm the second child in my family. What is your mother father like? My father likes playing football, and my mother likes cooking. Do your parents let you stay out late? Of course not. They always ask me to get home before 10 p.m. each night. Do you stay with your parents? Right now, no, but I used to. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mom always prepares delicious meals for us. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, B Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around $5 for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I think that would be Nepal. A book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300 page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. How many places have you traveled to? I visited all the provinces throughout my country. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. What's your favorite tourist attraction? That would be Venice City in Italy. I love riding the gondola along the canals while watching Italian people live their daily lives. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. What language do you use when traveling? English. But sometimes I have to use body language since not all people are good at English. What do you usually do during your trip? I often go sightseeing, take pictures, mingle with the local people, and sample the local cuisine. What do you do to prepare for your trip? Before the trip, I search for information about the location, weather, famous tourist attractions, transportation, local cuisine, and prices on the internet. What do you usually bring when you travel? 
I usually pack my suitcase with some necessary items, such as clothes, medicine, food, a map, and a camera. Do you prefer traveling by car, train, or plane? I prefer planes, although it can be a little expensive. Planes are much faster than any other mode of transport. Do you prefer traveling alone or joining a guided tour? I love backpacking with my friends who share the same interests as me. What type of websites do you often search for? It varies depending on my goal. I prefer entertainment and education websites such as Facebook.com, Wikipedia.org, and VOA Special English. How long have you been using them? I have been using these websites since I was a freshman at university. What do you visit those websites for? I use them to study online or relax after working. What's your favorite website? I think it's probably YouTube.com. Can you read websites in English? Yes, I can. Most useful websites are written in English. What's the most popular website in your country? I'm not quite sure, but I guess it would be Facebook.com. Do you think the youth should use websites as a reliable source of knowledge? Not always. They should choose their sources carefully. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? I was walking, so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. The best way are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights, and stay in the appropriate vehicle pedestrian lanes. Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I did. I enjoyed playing hide and seek with my peers. Did you experience your childhood in a city or countryside? I spent my childhood in a rural area where I could see vast rice fields. Did you usually skip class when you were a child? Yes, I did, and many of my friends did too. Who were you with when you were a child? I was with my beloved family. What did you want to be when you were a child? I dreamed of being a fashion designer. Who did you love the most when you were a child? I loved my mom the most, since she was always there and took care of me. Who was your childhood hero? Robin Hood. He took money from the rich and gave it to the poor. What reminds you of your childhood? Green rice fields, which I happen to see everywhere, remind me of my beautiful childhood. Did you change a lot when you grew up? Yes, of course. I'm more mature now, both physically and mentally. Why is childhood important? Because it shapes people into who they will become. How many rooms are there in your house? There are six rooms a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Which floor is your bedroom on? My bedroom is on the first floor of a three story house. Is it big or small? It's not very spacious, just enough to put necessary furniture in. What color is your bedroom painted? It's painted pink, my favorite color. Love your room? Why? I love it very much because it is my private space whenever I go home. What furniture does your bedroom contain? It contains a bed, a desk, and a clothing closet. What do you do in it? Well, I spend most of my free time there reading books and sleeping. How much time do you spend in your room? About 10 hours a day, especially in the evening. Share your room with anyone else? No, 
Everyone in my family has their own room, so I stay there alone. What kind of presents are popular in your country? It depends on the receivers. For children, toys are the best choice. For youth, souvenirs are recommended. Who gave presents to you? On what occasions? I have received many presents, most of which were from my friends. They gave me gifts on my birthday. What was your last present? It was a handmade doll given by my best friend when I moved to another city. What was the one you like best? I loved my book Nepal a lot. It was given to me on my 23rd birthday by my brother. Did you ever get a present you didn't like? Yes, I have, but I still treasure and take care of them. How do you thank people who give you presents? I gave them presents that they would like. What are the times of the year that people give presents in your country? Some special occasions are birthdays, weddings, graduation, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, housewarming ceremonies, etc. Who was the last person you gave a present to? My mom. I bought her a coat on a business trip to Bangkok. Is giving presents important in daily life? Yes, it is. It's one of the best ways to show your love and gratitude to someone. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place? Why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the gorgeous architecture, but also learn cultural and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S., as well as a welcoming sight to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays, the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. What are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine? Newspapers, magazines, can broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need to travel. How often do you read it? I read it every day. What's the best time to read the newspaper? I think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day. What types of magazines do you usually read? I usually read politics and fashion magazines. I also enjoy reading about culture and tourism. What's your favorite magazine? My favorite is the New York Times, which writes about all sorts of things business, sports, movies. Travel, books, jobs, education, and real estate. Do you read the paper or online news? I prefer online news to save money. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper, so it doesn't cost much money, around $5 a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine, a leading source for reliable business news and financial information. With the popularity of Internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Yes, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. How many events have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than 10 events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? 
The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students and then they hosted Q&A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. What subjects did you learn in school? I learned math, science, physics, biology, geography, history, literature, English, art, and music. What subject did you like the most when you were at school? Were you good at it? I liked biology the most, although I was excellent at literature. Did your friends like that subject too? Yes, they did. They enjoyed every single biology lesson. Was the textbook written in English or any other language? It was written in English. Who taught that subject? My teacher was Miss Karen from the USA. How was the subject helpful to you? It helped me a lot in becoming a biology teacher. How often did you learn that subject? I often had biology lessons five times a week. How long did you spend on that subject at home? I spent roughly two hours per day studying biology at home. Have you ever attended any extra classes for that subject? Yes, I have. I usually attended evening classes. Is it important to study hard on both social sciences and natural sciences? No, it isn't. Students should study the ones they like and the ones that are helpful to their career path. What type of museum is popular in your country? There are many types of museums, but the most popular are historical museums. What is the most famous museum in your country? That would be the British Museum, located in London. What's special about it? I'm impressed by its large amount of historical, art, and cultural work. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited the museum twice. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? I usually listen to the tour guide and take notes about important information. Are you allowed to take pictures there? No, the guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. How did you feel after visiting there? The overall experience was fantastic, and I learned so many things in just a few hours. What do you think is the importance of museums in history? Museums are an integral part of any country's history, and they keep history alive. Do you usually watch movies at home or at a movie theater? I usually watch movies on my laptop. Sometimes I go to the movie theater. Is watching movies at the theater more interesting than watching movies at home? Yes, definitely, because you can watch vivid images on a large screen with lively sound effects. How often do you go to the movie theater? I often go to the movie theater every weekend. What's your favorite type of movie? What movie of that type do you like? My favorite type is comedy because whenever I watch one, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. I love the Mr. Bean movie series. Was that movie adapted from a book? No, the story is derived from funny situations in real life. Who are the actors or actresses in the movie? Mr. Bean is the main character. He is played by Rowan Atkinson, who is from England. Was it recommended by your friend, teacher, or family? It was recommended by my classmate. Was the movie in your mother language or in English? It was in English, but I can also watch it with subtitles. Should children watch violent movies? I don't believe so. Young children are very impressionable, and it could lead them to wanting to imitate the behavior. What's the most important factor of a great movie? I believe that plot and actors are among the factors which decide the success of a movie. Have you ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? 
The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food, dairy, and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures. How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3% of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. On what occasions do people in your country celebrate parties? There are many occasions when people throw parties, such as New Year's Eve, wedding engagements, family reunions, birthdays, etc. But sometimes people hold parties just when they meet up and want to have something fun to do. Are you a party animal? Yes, I am. I am crazy about going to parties. I love meeting friends, drinking, and talking. When do parties often start and finish? It depends on what kind of party it is. I believe the perfect time to have a party is in the evening, from 8 to 11 p.m. Where are the parties thrown? They are held inside or outside. Some formal events, like weddings, housewarmings, are organized inside, while others, like family reunions and birthdays, may be held outside. What do you usually wear when you come to a party? I often wear casual clothes, like a t shirt and jeans if I go to informal parties, and a dress for formal ones. What do people do in the parties you attended? At the party, people talk, eat, and drink together. Some go there to find business opportunities and new partners. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol at the parties? Yes, a little beer can cheer me up. Do people have to bring anything to the party? It's not required, but sometimes visitors bring some gifts to show their love for the host. Why do people, especially the youth, love going to parties? It's just a good way for them to chill out after a long day. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor. Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? She has shoulder length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. What is your favorite hotel? Where is it located? 
It's the Sheraton, a five-star hotel located in Saigon, Vietnam. How do you know that hotel? Before coming to Vietnam for traveling, I searched on the internet. It's one of the best hotels in Vietnam. Why do you choose to stay in that particular hotel? I like the architecture there, and online, all the reviews about the hotel are positive. Is it by the beach? No, Saigon is not a beachside city. Does it attract many tourists? Yes, I guess. When I stayed there, it was completely booked. What type of room did you stay in, and what facilities did you get from the hotel? I stayed in a double bed room. The room is equipped with air conditioner, a flat screen TV, wardrobe, etc. What do you like about that hotel? A gymnasium, swimming pool, and BBQ area are available. I also love the green space surrounding the hotel. Is all the staff friendly and helpful? Yes, definitely. They all are professional. How much does it cost a night? It costs me around two hundred fifty dollars a night. Do you recommend that hotel to friends? Yes, if they come to Vietnam. I love everything there. Who wrote the letter to you? My dad wrote the letter to me when he was on a business trip. Did you keep the letter? Yes, put it in a folder. Whenever I'm down, reading his letter would be a good way to cheer me up. What was the letter about? He told me about his new workplace and how things were there. How did you feel about the letter? I was glad to know that he was fine in another city. Do you have a letter collection? Yes, I collected all the letters from family and friends. It's one of my hobbies. Do you like writing letters or emails? I prefer writing paper letters. Do people in your country usually write letters? Years ago, they did. Now people prefer emails. What's the difference between emails and handwritten letters? Emails are much more convenient than letters because they're free to send and they get there instantly. However, letters are much more special. Why should we write letters to friends or relatives? It's a good way to show love to people you care about. What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Yes, kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad. He taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? I don't think any hobby is weird. It's just what you like to do. So I don't judge others. What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. What kind of music do you like? I'm crazy about pop music. Is that the kind of music preferred in your country? It varies. Normally, the youth enjoy rock and pop, while middle-aged citizens prefer country music. Who is your favorite singer? I'm a big fan of Miley Cyrus, a talented U.S. singer, songwriter, and actress. What piece of music do you like? Who sang that song? My favorite song is Jolene, sung by Miley Cyrus. How much time a day do you spend listening to music? I usually listen to music all day with an MP3 player. Do you feel relaxed listening to music? Sure, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. Why is music important to us? Music has the power of beautifying our life. Do you usually go to bars or clubs? Not often. I sometimes go there on weekends. What do you think about the teenagers' music style? 
Teenagers tend to choose loud and fast music, like rock or rap. Everyone has their own taste of music, though. Have you ever thought of forming a music band? No, I don't have any talent for music. Do you like shopping? Yes, I'm a shopaholic. What do you usually shop for? I usually shop for clothes. I'm a big fashion fan. Where do you go shopping? At some fashion boutiques in my neighborhood. Are there many shops in your neighborhood? Yes, my area is the city center, so I have many choices of where to shop. Do you spend much money on shopping? Yes, and I'm usually broke at the end of the month. Do you usually shop online? What items? Yes, but not really often. I only buy furniture online. What's the difference between shopping online and offline? Unlike shopping offline, you cannot try on the pieces of clothes or check the material when shopping online. Where did you go for holiday? Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Why did you choose that destination? I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. How long did it last? I stayed there for two weeks. Who went with you? I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. How did you travel? We flew there, of course. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. What did you pack up? I only brought some necessary items, such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. What did you do during the holiday? We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? Well, it has changed a lot. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago, traveling abroad seemed hard. At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? It depends on what job people have. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. Are you an animal lover? Yes, I am. I love animals. Are you raising any pets? Yes, I have a pit bull puppy at home. What is it like? My puppy is friendly, highly intelligent, and well behaved. He always waves his tail and licks my hand to welcome me home. What does it look like? He's a medium sized puppy with a strong neck, broad chest, and brown hair. What are its habits? My pit bull puppy loves doing exercise every day. When he plays, he plays to win. What do you usually do with it? We usually play tennis together. My puppy helps me pick up tennis balls. What does it like to eat? He loves beef, chicken, and some dairy products. What do you learn from it? He teaches me loyalty. An adult pit bull may make me feel safe. Why do people keep pets? They consider pets as their loyal companions, which make their life better. Are pets well looked after in your country? Yes, people in my country love pets. What practical skill have you learned? Cooking is a practical skill that I have practiced recently. Who taught you that skill? My mom is the best cook. She taught me everything about how to make soup, salad, omelets, cake, etc. How did you learn it? She shows me how to buy food, prepare ingredients, and cook meals whenever she's in the kitchen. I learn how to boil, grill, steam, fry, braise, etc. day by day. Why did you learn it? I just want to be a good cook like my mom when I get married. I will prepare the best dishes for my husband and children. How long did it take for you to learn it? I learned it in four years. The skill seems to be strengthened when I live apart from my family for studying. How often do you use this skill? I cook every day. I also love homemade food. How has this skill helped you? It makes me more confident whenever I go on a picnic outside. I'm always responsible for the barbecue. Do people in your family know this skill too? My younger sister knows how to cook too. 
She has just started learning. Do all skills need learning? Yes, they do. Practice makes perfect. How is this skill important to you? It's an essential life skill. All women need to know this to keep their family warm and happy. What sport do you like? I like playing badminton. Is it easy to play that sport? Yes, it's pretty easy to play. Is that sport popular in your country? Yes, it is. How long have you been practicing that sport? I have been practicing it for five years. Who do you play sports with? I play badminton with my friends, sometimes with my brother. How often do you play that sport? I play badminton every weekend. What benefits can you get from that sport? It helps strengthen my muscles because while playing, I have to move continuously. It is good to burn calories as well. Do you like watching football, online or offline? Yes, I do. I prefer watching football offline and online. Going to the stadium, shouting and cheering are good to release stress. What is your favorite football team? I like the Manchester United Football Club, also known as the Red Devils. Why is sport important? Sports are sources of recreation. People can learn how to encourage team spirit when they play sports, too. What school did you go to? I went to Millennium High School, founded in 1999. Where is the school located? It's located in New York City, United States. Do you like the architecture of the school? Yes, I do. The architecture is not really impressive, but I like it that the building's architects left plenty of space for lounging. What are the teachers like? Most of the teachers there are helpful and friendly. I especially like Mr. Mike, my physics teacher. How long have you spent there? I have spent three years of upper secondary school there. Is that a single sex school? No, it isn't. This is a unisex school. Do you like the school uniform? We don't wear uniforms at school, actually. Why do you enjoy the time there? Although I had to deal with quite a heavy workload, I enjoy the relaxing atmosphere when hanging out with friends in the cafeteria there. What important lesson did you learn from school? I learned how to work in a group in which there are many friends coming from different cultures. That's the lesson of cooperation. Will you recommend that school to others? Yes, of course. I am proud to recommend Millennium High School to anyone who is searching for a good place to learn. How many popular festivals are there in your country? There are many New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick Day, Easter, etc. What is the most important festival in your country? I believe that New Year's Day is the most important one since it's a chance for family reunion and parties. People gather together to welcome the new year. When does it take place? It occurs on January 1st. Where is the festival celebrated? The New Year's Day is celebrated all over the country. Each family has its own way to celebrate the day. What do people do to prepare for the festival? Before New Year's Day, People go shopping for food and drinks, repair the house, or put up decor. Who can join the festival? It's a day for everybody. What do people do in the festival? On New Year's Eve, people have a party with traditional food and drinks. After that, they may visit friends or relatives, go to the movies, or watch sports. What's special about that festival? It marks the end of a year and celebrates a new year. People believe that the things they do on the first day will bring good luck and prosperity to them during the whole year. Is the festival culturally related? Sure, the festival is an integral part of culture. Why is a festival important? It adds structure to our social lives and connects us with our families and backgrounds. Do you like to cook? Yes, I do. Cooking helps me feel relaxed after long hours of working. Is there any kind of food you don't like? I don't really like fried chicken, which is very high in fat. Do you eat out or cook at home? I usually cook at home. 
Sometimes when I'm busy, I go out to eat. How often do you cook? Just when I have free time. My mom is often responsible for preparing meals. She's the best cook ever. What's your favorite food? I'm addicted to sushi. I can eat sushi every day. Is it Western or Asian cuisine? It's Asian cuisine. Sushi is derived from Japan. Is it easy to make your favorite food? Yes, I guess. The recipe is quite simple. What ingredients do you need to make that food? I would need rice, eggs, meat, seafood, and vegetables. What do you think about fast food? I don't really like fast food. It's not healthy at all. Would you say that you have a healthy diet? Yes, I would. I prefer eating vitamins, protein, and less fat. What's the most useful household appliance that you have? That's definitely the washing machine. When did you buy it? I bought it two years ago. Actually, my mom gave it to me as a birthday present. Is it expensive? I don't think it costs that much. Is it easy to use? Yes, it's pretty simple. How does it work? Press the desired button, and everything will be done within several minutes. How often do you use it? I wash my clothes twice a week. Will you replace it with a more modern one? No, because it was a present and it's still working well. How does your life change with that household appliance? It makes our life more convenient. We can save time as well. Do you think that household appliances will make people lazier and lazier? Yes, to some extent. With the help of electronic equipment, people tend to forget manual tasks and become lazier. What's your favorite music band? I'm a big fan of One Direction. There are five singers in the band. Is it famous around the world? Yes, it is. The band is well known around the world. Almost all teenagers love them. What's their taste of music? They sing pop music. Their most famous song may be What Makes You Beautiful. Are they good at dancing? Yes, I think so. I fall in love with their every step. Have you ever seen them in real life? Nope. I just watch them on media. I wish I will see them one day. How often do you come to their show? I watch videos almost every day. Listening to their songs helps me chill out. Can you sing their songs? Yes, but only one song. I just keep singing it over and over again every day. Do your friends like them? Of course. We usually watch their performances and discuss it together. Do they have anti fans? Yes, every famous singer has anti fans. What's the weather like in your country? Well, there are four seasons spring, summer, fall, and winter, which vary considerably in characteristics. What kind of weather do you like? I enjoy hot weather. There are more things to do when it's sunny. I love swimming and sunbathing. What months have the best weather in your country? I believe it depends. For me, the best weather is from June to August when it's warm across the country. Do you like it when it rains? Not at all. I hate raining. How does the weather affect your feelings? I usually have a bad mood when it rains. The rain reminds me of sad memories. How has the weather changed recently? Due to global warming, the weather has become more and more unpredictable. It's boiling hot in summer and freezing cold on winter days. Do you usually watch the weather forecast? No, not very often. What's your favorite season? Why? Let's see. I love spring when trees and flowers blossom. What do you like to do when it's windy? When it's windy, I like flying a kite with my friends. That's interesting. Who is your neighbor? My neighbor is a university student. He lives next to my apartment. When did you become neighbors? I first met him when I moved to this apartment two years ago. Is he friendly? Yes, he is. He always smiles when he sees me. How often do you see him? Every day at the gate. 
Sometimes I invite him to my apartment when I throw a party. Do you have any problems with him? Only once when he sang karaoke too loud, which kept me awake all night. We ended up talking to each other the next day, and they never sang karaoke at midnight from then on. Does he usually help you? Yes, he does. He usually helps me run errands. Would you be sad if he moves to another area? Yes, of course. That will upset me if he leaves. What's the difference between friends and neighbors? I'm not quite sure, but I think the difference may lie in the relationship. A friend can be someone you share your feelings with, while a neighbor can just be someone living next door. What do you need to be a good neighbor? Being respectful is the most important factor in building a good relationship. Do you like visiting natural places? Yes, I do. Being close to nature helps me release stress and worry. What's the most impressive natural scenery you've ever seen? That's the horseshoe of the Colorado River in Arizona. It's such a great scenic place on Earth. When did you see it? I visited the place last summer holiday. Who went with you? I went there with my family. We camped near the place. What's special about it? I'm fond of the great nature there. It's a horseshoe shaped meander of Colorado River. How has it changed recently? It doesn't change much, actually. What's the next natural scenery you would like to visit? My next destination would be the Maroon Bells in Colorado. I fell in love with mountain ranges and yellow flowers there. What can people get from visiting natural places? People will get closer to Mother Nature. Children have more motivation to discover the world around them. What are some famous natural attractions in your country? There are many, such as Death Valley, Niagara Falls, the Redwoods, and the Grand Canyon, to name a few. What outdoor activity do you participate in? I do many, but my favorite one is jogging. Where do you do it? I go jogging in the park near my place. Who do you do outdoor activities with? I usually go jogging with my family. Who shares the same interests as you? My family, especially my dad. We usually jog together. How often do you take part in outdoor activities? Every morning, except on rainy days. How do you feel after activities? I feel really relaxed and refreshed. What benefits can you get from outdoor activities? It's a good workout method. Jogging is also a good way for me to charge batteries for a long day working. Do you usually play sports outdoors? Yes, I do. I play volleyball and swim outdoors. Why are children less interested in outdoor activities nowadays? Children nowadays prefer high tech gadgets like computers, iPads, and phones to outdoor activities. What law do you like? I like the traffic law of wearing the helmet when traveling by motorbike. Is that an international law? Yes, people around the world follow this law. When was it issued? I'm not quite sure, but I guess a long time ago. Who told you that law? I learned it at school. Is it easy to follow that law? Yes, it is. It doesn't cause any inconvenience at all. What do you think about that law? The traffic law is so necessary for traffic participants when they're on the road. What benefit can you get from following that law? It may keep me safe from traffic accidents. Why should people obey the law strictly? Following law is a good way to protect themselves as well as others. What can be done to encourage people to follow the law? Obeying law is people's responsibility. If they go against the law, they'll put themselves in trouble. How many kinds of pollution are there? There are many types of pollution. Land, water, noise, air, light, thermal pollution. What type of pollution is popular in your country? The most popular one is water pollution, I guess. Have you ever littered? Yes, I have. But when I was taught the lesson of protecting Mother Nature, I quit littering. What can you do to help prevent pollution? Reduce and reuse whatever I can to eliminate the amount of waste is what I can do to prevent pollution. 
what does the government do to encourage people to protect the environment they organize some campaigns to raise the awareness of people everything should start from education are people in your country aware of the environmental issues yes they are they care about what happens to the environment around them is there any law to enforce people to protect the environment Yes, the environment law states punishments to people doing harm to the environment. Are you comfortable with a traffic jam? Not at all. I feel annoyed. Why does it happen? Because there are too many vehicles on the streets during rush hours, I bet. How often do you sit in a traffic jam? Just every day when I finish office hour and go back home. What time in a day are you usually caught in a traffic jam? In rush hour at 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. How long does it take to escape from the traffic jam? At least half an hour. What do you do while waiting in a long line? I often glance at my watch, actually. Have you ever had any trouble caused by a traffic jam? Yes, just yesterday I was late for an important meeting with my clients. How has the traffic situation changed recently? There are more vehicles, which makes traffic jam more and more serious. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds. Radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience. I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the Internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? 
they're more modern and user-friendly what is your desired job well my dream changes in accordance to age up to now I would like to be a great English teacher is that a demanding job yes I think so although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring what challenge do you have when doing that job I have some problems with classroom management maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher is it hard to make your dream come true every job needs time and effort and teacher does as well apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university I have to learn many other soft skills why do you choose that job I really admired my high school English teacher and I want to be like her what requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job let's see you need to be patient thoughtful and sympathetic does the job have something to do with your major at university sure I studied English linguistics and literature majored in English teaching the major does support me a lot in my career path what does the society think about your job I'm not quite sure but I'm proud to be a teacher and honor job do you make much money with that job not at all teachers one of the lowest paying jobs in my country have you ever thought of leaving your job I haven't thought of that before but I believe in what I'm doing right now what is the most impressive competition you've entered I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year what was it about the competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university were there many participants in the competition yes there were around 500 participants totally what prize did you get well I didn't get a very high prize but it didn't matter I was still happy with the result what could you learn from the competition I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking did you have to prepare a lot for the competition yes I did I read various materials about eloquence as well as rehearsed a lot how did you know about the competition the competition was informed in the school poster did you do your best then yes I think so after the competition I know I have to try more is the competition useful in your opinion sure it helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life is there any garden that you like yes I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood where is it it's in the Highland area where I live when did you first see it I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland what were planted in the garden strawberries of course there are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds why do you like the garden I love picking red strawberries the garden brings me closer to nature as well what is special about the garden the strawberries there are organic how do people do the gardening keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs how often do you visit the garden just when I have leisure time since I'm quite busy is there any relation between the green garden and your mood yes at least for me the green will help me chill out do you want to be a gardener honestly no I'm not used to manual work where is your hometown my hometown is a coastal state of US is it the city or the countryside I live in a suburb area what's it known for it's famous for tobaccos what do people do there agriculture is the main industry in my hometown most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos how is the atmosphere there well it's quite peaceful I enjoy the fresh air here how are people there they're friendly and hospitable would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else yes I would I just wish I can live here forever is it easy to find a job there manual work is easy to find I'm not sure about the white-collar jobs is it a good environment for young people I don't think so the pace of life here is quite slow if they want to work in a dynamic environment they'd better move to the city 
is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown not at all we couldn't be happier with the traffic system here what is your favorite item of clothing my favorite one is a maxi dress I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties when did you buy it my friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21 where did you buy it I had no idea where my close friend bought it what color is it it's blue my favorite color was it expensive yes I guessed why do you like it well I'm kind of short and plump so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly but that one does I also love the color and style do clothes help to build your personal brand yes I agree with it to some extent I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside however what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes yes I have but I don't think any fashion style is weird I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion how has your fashion style changed recently I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago but now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt what is your favorite advertisement I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about surf a laundry detergent made by Unilever where did you see it I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago what happened in the advertisement the ad told a story of a family in which the children all love their stepmother due to the white shirt she prepared for them why do you like it I just can't stop loving the story in the ad it's such a sweet story was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement not at all the actors were not very well known I think did it attract much attention I have no idea but I saw it in many public places what do you like the most in the advertisement well the vivid images and sound effects did attract me do you believe in advertisements not really ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons how have advertisements changed recently they're more modern digital marketing has proved successful in many fields what project did you work on I made an English poster about our environment was that an indoor or outdoor project the project was carried out mostly outdoor only the last phase was conducted indoor who was involved in the project my teammates and an advisory teacher what did you do we had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants was it a successful project yes we received compliments from our professor who was your advisory teacher our science teacher mr. John we learned a lot from him what did you learn after the project I learned how to write contents and decorate posters did you like your partners yes most of them were friendly and responsible and I particularly liked Michael the leader of my team what did you get after the project after the project I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates have you ever attended someone's wedding who was he or she yes a lot but the most memorable one is my best friends who went with you I went with one of my classmates where was the wedding organized it was held in a restaurant downtown what did people do in the wedding they enjoyed wedding feast sang and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness what did the bride and groom wear the bride wore a white wedding gown while the groom wore a black suit and tie what was the most interesting ritual in the wedding exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in are weddings a special event of one's life in your country yes along with birthdays do people in your country get married early not really the average age to get married for women is 27 and for men is 29 what is the ideal age to get married in your opinion well 27 would be my ideal age 
Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is the Coffee House, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends. The coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? 
Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. What's your favorite means of communication? I prefer talking directly to people. How do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends, so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone. Do you get in touch with your family by phone? Yes, I do. I live away from my family, so phone would be an ideal means of communication. Do you usually write letters or emails? I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely. Now I prefer emails due to its convenience. What are some advantages of using a mobile phone? That's the easiest means of communication, I think. Mobile phones are portable. Just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want. Do you like handwriting letters? Yes, I do. I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes. Do you use social networks? Yes, the youth can now hardly live without social networks. Do you need communication skills using social networks? Sure, even in social networks. How have social networks changed communication? People prefer talking online rather than directly. Because of the illusion of social networks, people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life. Do you have good communication skills, in your opinion? Maybe yes. People are quite happy talking to me. Are you studying or working? I left school three years ago. I'm working now. Are you self employed or working for a company? I'm self employed. I used to work for a company two years ago. Are you running any business? Yes, I'm running a small business. What does your business sell? I make and sell handmade cosmetics. Do you have any difficulty running that business? Yes, I had some difficulties attracting customers at first, but everything is getting better now. Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. Easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high tech devices besides computers? Yes, apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer but under the control of their parents. Do you usually exercise? Yes, I do. Doing exercise is one of my good habits. What sport do you play? Swimming is my favorite. I also play tennis. How often do you exercise? I go jogging almost every day before breakfast. When did you start doing exercise? Just last year, actually. Is there anyone who does exercise with you? I go jogging with my older brother. He's a good company of mine. What benefits can you get from exercising? Well, a lot. Exercise helps reduce fat and build muscles. It also keeps me awake mentally during the whole day. Where do you exercise? At a nearby park. There are some exercise machines for people to use. Why do you exercise? I like moving. For me, life without moving is like a picture without color. Do people in your country do much exercising? I don't think so. They're so busy working that they forget to do exercise. What if people don't do enough exercise? 
Obviously, they'll gain weights fast and become obese. What is your current short-term goal? I'm determined to get a scholarship to study postgraduate abroad. When did you start thinking about this goal? I started thinking about it when I left university. What difficulties do you have in order to achieve it? Spending a lot of time searching it, I haven't found any scholarship that fits my needs. Do you need any help to achieve that goal? I really need spiritual encouragement from my family and friends. Do your parents support you to achieve that goal? Yes, they do. They're always by my side and support me when needed. Do you think it's important to set goals? Sure, we all need to have some goals to drive ourselves towards them. Setting goals is a necessary step to do in order to succeed in doing something. What are the important qualities to achieve goals? Well, you need to be persistent to what you desire to get. Commitment and patience are needed too. What's your favorite work of art? There's a special photograph named The Napalm Girl. When did you see it? I accidentally saw it five years ago when I traveled to Vietnam. Where did you see it? In Museum of Vietnamese History, the photo was solemnly hung in an eye-catching position in the room. Why do you like it? The photo captured a naked nine-year-old girl running away from the napalm attack, which is really touching. What's special about it? Thanks to the photo, the photographer was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Spot News Photography. Do your friends like it too? Yes, they do. The photo did touch their souls too. Do you want to be an artist? Nope, although I'm quite interested in art. What qualities does a person need to be an artist? An artist needs to be creative and sensitive to things around him, I think. How do children develop their talent for art? Children's talent for art should be recognized and nurtured as early as possible so that they can reach their full potential. Are you a big fan of fashion? Yes, I am. I believe every girl is crazy about fashion. What style do you choose to wear? Well, my favorite piece of clothes is a dress. Depending on the situation, I choose a formal or informal dress to wear. Do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Yes, I'm a shopaholic, actually. Is there any fashion icon who you want to wear the same? Yes, I admire Taylor Swift and wish to wear like her. Do you create your own fashion style? No, I'm not a fashionista, so most of the time I just follow the fashion trend. Do you prefer vintage or modern style? Why? Honestly, I love vintage style. Wearing classic clothes makes me feel like I'm special. Have you ever attended a fashion show? Not in real life. I just watch them on TV. What do people think about your fashion style? I don't know exactly, and I don't care much about it. I just wear what makes me comfortable and confident. Are you going to change your fashion style in the future? Well, I can't tell. Maybe fashion is changeable, and I am too. Is fashion important to people? Yes, in my opinion. Fashion can partly reveal who you are. What's your favorite item of jewelry? Well, I have quite a lot of ornaments, but my favorite one is a necklace. When did you buy it? Um, I don't remember exactly when, but I guess I bought it years ago. What's it made of? It's made of silver. How does it look? It looks gorgeous with a ruby clover-shaped pendant. Why do you like it? I believe it can bring me good luck in everything I do. What's special about it? I love the vintage style of my necklace. It really goes with my classic dresses. Does it remind you of something? Yes, I spent my first month's salary buying it, so the necklace encourages me to work hard and earn more money every day. How much does it cost? Around $400 if I'm not mistaken. Do you usually wear it? Yes, I just wear it all the time. I'll be missing it if I don't see it. What's your favorite cosmetic item? My favorite cosmetic item is a cherry red lipstick. When did you buy it? I bought it in a local cosmetic shop. How often do you use it? Almost every day. I sometimes change the color. 
How did it change your physical appearance? Oh, at first, I was hesitant to try because I thought it wouldn't match my skin undertone. But when putting it on, the cherry red color did make me more charming and gorgeous. Is it expensive? Nope, it is under $21 only. Is the brand name famous? Yes, I think MAC is well known all around the world. MAC lipstick is an iconic product of the producer. How important are cosmetics according to you? Well, frankly, cosmetics are really important to women, although I agree that the true beauty does come from inside. Is it important to have a good looking appearance? Sure, you will be given more opportunities if you're good looking. Are cosmetics harmful? Yes, I guess. Some toxic chemicals in cosmetics may cause skin cancer. Do you think beauty products are a waste of money? Not really. As for me, I just spend my saving money on cosmetics. What indoor game do you like to play? Um, I'm fond of playing bowling. When did you start playing it? I've just started bowling. It's been three weeks so far. Who do you play it with? Most of the time, I play with my friends when we hang out together. Sometimes, I also go bowling with my cousins. Where do you play? At a nearby shopping mall. There is an entertainment area where people can play various games. Is it easy to play? Yes, quite easy. The bowler has to knock down as many pins as possible, ideally, all of them. Are you usually the winner? Nope, because I'm just a beginner. My friends are much more experienced in playing it. Why do you like it? Well, going bowling is quite enjoyable. I love it when my friends cheer me up. Is it popular in your country? Yes, people playing almost everywhere. There are nearly 3,000 bowling centers in my country. What are other indoor games in your country? There are many, such as board game, table tennis, squash, boxing, and so on. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. Do you like learning languages? Yes, I do. I love traveling and talking to the local people in their mother tongue. What is your mother language? I speak English. What second language are you learning? I'm learning Spanish. I fell in love with Spanish when I traveled to Spain last year. Is that language popular in your country? Yes, people in my country come from every corner of the world, and Spanish is the second popular language spoken here, according to the statistic. How often do you use that language? Quite a lot. I see Spanish people every day in the restaurant, bank, or supermarket. How long have you been learning that language? I've been learning it for five years. I'm in advanced class now. Why do you choose to learn that language? I'm interested in Spanish culture and I'd like to use language as a tool to discover Spanish cultural values. Who is your teacher? An old Spanish teacher. She can also speak English fluently. Why do people learn a second language? There are many purposes. Some learn to do business, some learn to travel. Some just learn for fun. Who is the creative person that you admire? Well, I really admire Mr. Tom. 
who is an extremely creative math teacher. Why do you admire him? For me, math is quite boring because I have to work with long numbers. I used to hate math so much before I had lessons with Mr. Tom. He has thousands of ways to teach that boring subject, which inspires me a lot. How did he become so creative? I'm not quite sure, but I think that's his inborn talent. Do people you know admire him too? Of course, all my classmates just love and respect him for his creative teaching. What is he like? He has a good sense of humor. He always tells jokes, and we just can't help laughing. Do you think creativity can be learned and practiced? Yes, I definitely do. Creativity, like any other qualities, can be trained. How is creativity important in study or work? It generates energy and makes things more inspiring. Without creativity, work and study are just dull and tiring. Who is a famous celebrity that you admire? Well, I'm a big fan of Miley Ray Cyrus, an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Why do you admire her? Well, she's at my age, but what she's achieved is acknowledged worldwide. What is special about her? I just fall in love with her beautiful voice. I can't stop listening to her songs again and again. My favorite songs of hers are Jolene and Wrecking Ball. Is she well known worldwide? Yes, she is. She's a teen idol. Do you see her on TV or in reality? Most of the time, I see her on TV. Do your friends love her too? Yes, they do. We usually enjoy her songs, movies together. Do you want to be like her? Yes, being a well known singer is my dream. What health problem did you have? I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body, too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Not really, due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Are you a tech and gadget lover? Yes, I am. I love shopping for new gadgets. What is an important technological advancement you know? That's the emergence of online payment systems like credit cards or PayPal, thanks to the development of the internet, I think. What do you use it for? I use these services to do shopping online. Now I can book flight tickets in advance without the need to go to the agency. How long have you been using it? I've been using these services for around three years. Does it make your life easier? Sure, it's fast, simple, and convenient. How did it change your life? Well, I can enjoy my life more. I can do a plenty of things online, like shopping, transferring money, booking tickets, and so on. How often do you use it? At least once a week. What are other technological advancements you know? There are many electricity, smartphone, the internet, robot, and so on. What is a famous landmark in your hometown? Well, I can't hide my pride to talk about the Statue of Liberty. When was it built? I read on newspapers that it was constructed in 1886. Where is it? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor. What does it look like? That's a woman, known as the Roman goddess, bearing a torch, and a broken chain lies at her feet. What was it made of? The main material was copper. Who was the architect? Mr. Gustav Eiffel, who also designed the Tower of Eiffel. What is special about it? 
Actually, it was gifted to my country, the USA, from the people of France. Does it symbolize something? The statue is a symbol of freedom. We all love it and are so proud to share with international friends about it. Does it attract many tourists to come? Yep, it attracts 4 million visitors each year, according to the statistic. Do you love handcraft items? Yeah, my accessories are all handmade. What handcraft item do you like? Well, I've got many items, but I really fall in love with my bamboo handbag. Where did you buy it? I bought it in a trip to the countryside. People make handcrafts from bamboo there. Why do you like it? Because it's unique. I travel quite a lot, but can hardly find a similar one. What is it made of? It's made of 100% bamboo. What does it look like? Being made of traditional material, it looks trendy though. My handcraft bag has A4 paper size, which is large enough to carry a bunch of stuff makeup things, a wallet, and tissues. How is it made? Luckily, I had a chance to see how it is made. People spent the whole day knitting hundreds of small bamboo fibers together to make one bag. Is it easy to make? Nope, I'm not really skillful and patient, so handcraft seems super hard for me. What is special about it? The material itself is what makes it special. It's eco friendly as well. Does it remind you of something? Yep, it reminds me of the peaceful and quiet atmosphere of the countryside where I visited. Is plastic surgery popular in your country? Not really. People in my country are not so interested in plastic surgery. What do you think about people having plastic surgery? It's hard to say. As long as they find happiness in what they're doing, it's fine with me. Why do you think people do it? They want to gain a better look, I believe. That's understandable. Is plastic surgery bad? It's bad for health in the long run. Does it do harm to your health? Sure, there are several unhealthy substances in the medical treatments which may be harmful to your body. Do you think changing your look is a good thing? Yes, I can't deny that changing for a better appearance is what people should do. But don't abuse plastic surgery or you will face serious health problems later on. Do you think the development of plastic surgery is a positive or negative trend? It's more a positive trend, I guess. Thanks to plastic surgery, people who think they don't look good can now make themselves more attractive. Do you care more about your outlook or inner soul? As for me, the inner soul does matter more, although outside appearance is important too. What is a part of your face that you wish to change? Although I have some imperfect parts, I have no wish to change anything. I love the natural appearance my parents gave me. What success did you achieve? I don't know if it matters to someone or not, but passing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me. When did you get that success? I got it six years ago. It's been two years since I left university. Was there anyone who supported you? My family supported me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me, while my dad helped me with hard math problems. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me since I wasn't good at academic subjects at all. What were some difficulties in achieving success? The period before the exam was quite stressful. I was so obsessed with it that I had a serious headache. How did you get it? I stuck to books day and night. I just stopped reading and writing when I felt I knew thoroughly about the matters. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. How did your life change after that success? I had a chance to learn my favorite major at my desired university and then got a high paying job in an active working environment. What is your key to success? I don't particularly have any key to success. Just work hard and try your best. Everything good will come to you.